My name is Jukpe Badmans. I'm an assistant director at HOD Social, Medical Social Services, Bagada General Hospital. Sejra's gender-based violence is um, celebrated every September. Other hospitals have done theirs, and we are doing our own today. Medical Social Services is the um, office in charge of any case that has to do with gender-based, domestic violence, child rape, assault, and um, whatever thing that constitutes abuse in the home front, in school, and the society at large. Uh, really, there couldn't be any student measure other than what is in place now. Because the um, punishment for gender, especially for defilement, of a minor, it's life imprisonment as we speak in Lagos State. And we have evidence of such a, a, a justice that has come to pass. Um, we have another one of 21 years imprisonment. This is just to um, serve as a deterrence to other perpetrators. What we are actually advocating is to break that circle. Let us collect, collectively break the circle of all these predators, all these uh, abusers. How do I mean by that? When an abuse happens, let us speak out. Let's open up and report. Because um, most of these cases are not reported, either due to stigmatization, intimidation, or even fear and a lack of lack of confidence in the justice because while we are going on this rally this afternoon one of the market men asked me a question that we are saying they should report they should report what are we doing to the perpetrators that there have been cases that they reported and they still see the perpetrator walking around the street you understand? So this, at times, we not uh, encourage them to want to report. But if we are able to report, and also the state takes it upon herself to bring about justice. And when, I'm saying, when I say bring about justice, it should be immediate. When justice you deter too long, you know, People lose interest and, and, and faith in the judicial system. We will continue to say it. More advocacy, more evidence of punishment. Let the people see that actually perpetrators of abuse are punished. That will go a long way in sensitizing this uh, community. Because when there is justice, it serves as deterrence, and people have confidence. They have confidence to want to report when there's such happen. And when there is no hidden place for perpetrators, I think it will, it will just it will, it will come down, if not uh, completely eradicated. It will come to a very minimal, um, uh, minimal occurrence. And I thank God for the wife of our governor, Her Excellency. Dr. Mrs. Joke Sonwolu. She's very passionate about issues concerning uh, the gender, especially domestic violence. As we speak in Lagos State, it is zero tolerance to any form of abuse, either child defilement, either um, spousal assault. And mind you, it's not only the men that are abusing their wives. I've Hundred cases where the wife is the one bat uh, battering the husband. So it is vice versa, though it is more rampant among the women. But we still have women that are abusing their husbands. And abusing now is not literally meaning um, physical or sexual. We have emotional abuse. We have denial. Where the, uh, the wife is denying the husband sex, that is an abuse. Where the husband is denying the wife economic um, benefits, 
is an abuse. When you have a girl child and you feel uh, uh, females end up in the kitchen and you don't want to spend on the education of that girl, you are abusing that child. So abuse is not only physical, it is not only sexual. It can be emotional, it can be psycho uh, psychological. So various of abuse here and there. But the government of um, Lagos State is doing everything in their power to make sure, if not totally eradicating, to bring to the minimum, minimum level.